My name is Carrie LeBlanc and I have been coming to Shreveport Community Church for over 20 years. My name is Molly and I've been coming to Shreveport Community Church since 2021. Carrie and I are leading a women's community group. Just personally thinking about why in the past maybe I wouldn't have gotten in a group thinking, well, they're already friends with each other. I'm not gonna fit in with them. And also busyness. But for a woman just to say, I'm gonna do this for myself, I think that can be hard. We live in Instagram culture. We wanna hide and we wanna filter everything. We want it to look like we've got it all together. So of course there's gonna be spiritual opposition when we think about joining a group. There's gonna be all kinds of reasons in our own minds, I think, that are gonna come up as to why. Why it's not gonna be a good experience for us. And also that fear of, what if they don't accept me? I might be different than they are. I've gone through things that they're not gonna relate to or understand. And what if they find out about these things that I've been through and they, and they judge me for it? I know that's a weapon of the enemy to keep us from, from being known because when we're known and we're still loved and we're connected to other people through our own experiences, our own faults, I mean, there's so much healing that can happen in that. For me, I feel like that when I go, I want it to be real and authentic. I want real relationship, but it can be very hard to walk into a setting with people that you don't know. So that's something that Molly and I've always talked about from the time we started is we want people to come and feel loved and we're all different and we love that and that we all can just learn from each other and encourage each other and love each other and hold each other accountable. Having women, strong women in my life, it fills a part of my life that I just, you don't know until it's filled. You don't know how empty that you are in specific areas until that's filled up and you're like, how did I do this before? I feel like I was living with like, like crippled or something now that I know what I know. One of the lies I think the enemy's used in my own life is that we can do life by ourselves and we're fine and we don't need connection. And it's just not true. And it's diminishing yes. what God wants to do through other people yes. in your life too. Okay, God, I want you to help me with this area of my life. Maybe he wants to do that through someone else. I think that until you experience what it's like to be connected in a small group, it's really hard to convince someone of it. And so again, it's like, just try it, just show up and see what God does. I just think that that's the model for how we're supposed to be doing this whole walk.